Hi guys, in this video I'll show you how to step-by-step -step enter a trade using the top-down analysis strategy starting right now. Hi guys, my name is Pierre, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you grow your trading account and making you a better trader. So each week I upload at least one video, so make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get started. Oh, what a nice downtrend we have here. Aussie in New Zealand, one hour time frame. Perfect trading below the 200 moving average. It been trending to the downside. Even a kid could see it. This market is a downtrend. What is uh, the usual saying? The trend is your friend. So we want to short this market. Of course, it is a downtrending market. Let's go short. But wait a minute. Why did I say to my student in our trading room to go long in this market instead? What happened? Why did I say go long? It's been a trending market to the downside. You could see it here on the one hour time frame. I think many of you have been there. You open the chart, one hour time frame, 15 minute time frame. You see the trend, bullish or bearish. You heard somewhere on uh, YouTube that uh, below the 200 moving average, sell rallies above 200 moving average by the dips well yeah that's right but not always and uh, not to the 100 percent right so we talking about the top-down analysis strategy and that's why it is so important to do it the right way each and every time you're gonna take a trade so let's look back at this i've been telling our um trading room that we're gonna go long Aussie New Zealand the the other day and um, as I said what are the reasoning behind this we need to go back and start looking for a much higher time frame starting on the weekly actually if we don't know we need to go back all the way to 2006 but we just want to see the most recent data what's been going on on aussie and new zealand uh, recently and uh, why did we choose to go long at uh, that level so if you look at the chart on the weekly time frame we had a pretty strong push to the upside coming from a very important level looking left this market never been so low before so we are coming from a very low um, level putting a nice strong momentum move we've got a nice v-shape formation here after that we've got this nice retest continuation and what was very important here to keep in mind that we saw this market breaking above this previous swing high both of them so the neckline is broken here and the market did push uh, up and put a nice higher high and start making a correction to the downside so we do not need to talk all about what happened in these bounces because we had trading opportunities on those as well, many of them, but we are talking about the most recent trade we took and why. So let's keep going. On the weekly time frame, what do we know about this market? That we do have a potential trend to may start um, going even higher and continue to the upside for the main reason that in this particular move here, we have a higher highs and higher lows. That is the first signal. Then if we go down to the daily time frame, okay, and let's get rid of all the drawings once again. We saw the market on the daily time frame. What what trend do we have? We have a swing high, we have a higher low, we have another swing high that broke above previous highs, and the market been moving to the downside like this reaching our pretty interesting level of um, support here and the reason we are talking about support level because previously when the market did dip down here we saw the dip here did a great move to the upside breaking above previous highs so this is the biggest um, um, reason why we start looking to go long now do we blindly go long and in such a scenario of course not because the most recent trend was actually to the downside if you look at this particular period of time and that is what you need to start understand when you're making such a decision are we in a correction move 
or are we in a, a expansion what is uh, the market condition at the moment so this is something that many new traders fail to uh, understand and fail to read so guys once again looking back on the weekly we had a nice start to the uh, possible trend to the upside and we were looking for continuation because of that on the daily we've been in this correction move and now if we go back to the trade idea and uh, where the market uh, stopped and reversed and why we call it along here we're gonna move to this chart to show you on the one hour time frame what happened so basically on this chart we are somewhere here and on the one hour time frame you see it clearly that the market did reach this level here looking left we had this support area that we mentioned early on the daily time frame yeah so we had this nice swing high with a swing with a higher low and this support area so the market did dip to that level looking on the daily time frame you see it here on the four hour time frame we start seeing the market making some consolidation we start having more evidence and that is uh, a uh, bullish uh, divergence on the rsi four hour time frame we going down to the one hour time frame we see even more divergence bullish divergence on the one hour time frame so when do we start looking at that the main reason we start looking at all these evidence is because we were looking on the weekly and the daily time frame we know that the level is an important level for us we start looking for reason to go long so when this market let's go back here in time and show you how i was thinking if we go back toward uh, probably this area the main uh, thinking here was okay this market did give us a nice bounce here then bulls uh, bears tried to uh, push it lower they failed they failed one more time they failed again and they failed here and we start getting these bullish divergence on the rsi which is a great confidence for me to look for going long and during this whole time i've been saying to our trading room we do not go long uh, yet not go long yet we need evidence and then after this correction here this last correction here i start feeling that now is probably the time because we had one two three four five six attempts for this market to break lower and it couldn't break lower and another evidence we had here during uh, the day where i sent this alert to our trading room was when we've got this nice bullish engulfing candle another higher low so keep in mind we have a nice higher low here another higher low here and that was the time to call it for a potential long with stop loss below previous lows of course not only below this candle or, or something like that you need a little bit of a wider uh, stop here and we could actually have a nice risk to reward on target one a great risk to reward on uh, target two we got three r on this one here um, uh, when the trade was done so if we follow this market what happened it was a nice break out of the channel so if you want to play it even more safe you could wait actually for the break out of the channel to then look for this retest that been going on right now to then try to go long but i took the trade on this retest on the lower time on the 15 minute time frame so i entered somewhere here and let's keep moving the market went back to my entry and this is sometimes a little bit of oh shit what should i do and all that you will not do anything you have your stop loss you have your target you just let the market do the rest and when we've got this nice bullish engulfing candle here again with a failed new low we have another higher low i was not worried at all that this trade will go and my first target was of course previous structure highs this is the most uh, recent uh, level of trouble with both support and resistance so we take profit at this first level as target one and 
we left the rest to uh, see if it's going to reach target too. Keep in mind, the market does not move in one direction. It needs to do these correction that you see on the screen right now. Nice dip, back to retest, and then target hit. Now, what is the possibilities that we get more upside on this trade? Well, the same here. We look left, we check if there is major level of resistance or not. It is a pretty interesting level here where the market did reach a previously market that been uh, level, sorry, that been tested as support area and resistance. And that's why we had target two at this area, because what could happen here that the market reached this level and then continue to the downside because the most recent trend was actually to the downside. And if we take a look what happened like uh, if we're gonna talk about what happened today ah, oh, the same scenario here break out retest and right whoops and right now the market did a retest a nice bounce here once again so if you want to go long one more time you could actually start looking for a potential long from this area and looking for a continuation but keep in mind for more upside this market need to break higher here so if we go back to this chart and take a look at the daily time frame with a more clean chart what happened here the market uh, did hold support that is a clear for uh, for now because we have this bounce here on the daily we have a break back above the 200 moving average that been acting as nice dynamic resistance and support previously so the market did uh, bounce back again and there is potential continuation in this bigger picture continuation to the upside on this market so if we look at the weekly candle at the moment this weekly candle looks amazing and we would love to, to have it closed like this because that would be a signal that we're gonna uh, continue to the upside okay guys so i hope this video helped you make sure to watch the next video about the breakout trading and uh, do not forget to hit that like button see you next week bye bye